Hi, this is Garrett Williams, one of the hunt program coordinators for California Waterfowl, and today I'm going to go over tips to using a duck calling whistle. Knowing how to use a whistle is an important tool in a duck blind. Out here in California, from the Sassoon Marsh all the way up to the Butte Sink, all the way down to the grasslands in Southern California, we see a lot of whistling ducks. Green winged teal, widgeon, pintail, and mallards. With this whistle right here, we can mimic all those different sounds that those ducks make. The first duck that we can learn on this whistle is the green winged teal and probably the easiest one to learn. All we're going to do into this call is simply peep. We're not going to cover any of the holes or anything. We're going to use hot air just like we do into a mallard call, but we're just going to do short spurts of air into it and make a little peeping sound like a green winged teal. You can ramp up your calling or have multiple blind partners with you who are calling at these teal and make it sound like a lot of teal on the water. Another duck that we can mimic using this whistle is a widgeon. In California, we see a lot of widgeon and it's a good cadence to know in the duck blind. Widgeon make three whistling notes. They go wee, wee, woo. We can think of that whenever we're putting air into the call. Wee, wee, woo. Another duck we can mimic using this whistle is the drake mallard. We're going to do this by grunting into the call and saying vv, vv, vv. You can feel right here in your neck or your Adam's apple if it's vibrating, you're doing it correctly. And we're not going to cover any of the holes of the whistle. That paired with a mallard hen call can really help you be successful. Northern pintail is another duck that we can mimic using this whistle. The way we're going to call at the pintail is using our hand and our middle finger or your biggest finger and by covering the end of the hole of the whistle here. You want to make sure that your finger is not inserted into the hole, but just covering the outside. And we want all the air to come out the top of the whistle. We're also going to flutter our tongue using air pressure coming out. This is difficult, but with practice, you can get the hang of it. Thank you for watching this video on whistling tips. We look forward to seeing you at an event in the future.